Thank you for selecting a Pulsar Feeder Chemical Metering Pump for your application. This video is intended to assist you with the installation of your COP kit for your Pulsatron pump. Please refer to the detailed information in the installation manual that was provided with your pump and always adhere to all local, state, and national codes. Also be sure to use appropriate personal protective equipment such as gloves and eye protection to keep you safe in the event of contact with your chemical. Depending on your application and operating conditions, it is recommended that you replace your COP kit every 6 to 12 months. COP kit stands for Keep On Pumping and will keep your pump performing at its optimum. On the top of your pump, you will find the serial number label. There you will see the COP kit number just below the model number of your pump or you can scan the QR code with your smartphone or tablet. The COP kit you are installing should match the COP kit number found on your pump serial number label. You will need to have your pump depressurized. Make sure relief tubing is connected to your bleed valve or five function valve if your pump is equipped with one and tubing is inside your solution tank. Turn bleed valve counterclockwise until the pressure and liquid has drained back into your tank. Next, you should flush out the head of the pump, removing any chemical. Make sure any shutoff valves or corp stop and nozzle installed downstream of the injection valve have been shut off. Once the head has been flushed, wipe down the outside of pump if any chemical has dripped on the outside of the pump. While the pump is running, set the stroke length knob to 50%, then unplug the power cord. The cop kit includes your entire wet end assembly. In your cop kit is a head, a diaphragm, a deflection plate, a suction valve, a discharge valve, and mounting hardware including a secondary seal. To remove the pump's old liquid wet end, use a Phillips screwdriver and remove the four screws on the head and pull it straight off. Carefully grab the diaphragm outer edge and unscrew it counterclockwise. Please note the number of shims on your diaphragm shaft. There could be one, two, or no shims on some pump models. The correct number of shims will be have to be reinstalled on your new diaphragm. Pull the adapter plate off and remove the secondary seal. You have now disassembled the old wet end. To reassemble your pump, install the new secondary seal onto the shaft and add a general purpose lubricant to the shaft. Install the adapter plate with the weep hole pointing down. Apply a thin film of lubricant to the areas of the diaphragm that contacts the deflection plate. Slide the deflection plate onto the diaphragm shaft, making sure the radius is towards the diaphragm. If your pump head shims on the old diaphragm shaft, place that same number on the shaft as well. Screw this assembly onto the electronic power module until tight against the solenoid shaft and the diaphragm stops turning. The arrows on the head, which indicate the direction of chemical flow, should always point up. Install your head with four screws by tightening them down with a Phillips screwdriver in a crisscross pattern. Screws should only be tightened until snug. You can verify that the head is not over tightened by making sure the head and the adapter plate are evenly spaced all the way around. Install the suction valve with the arrow facing up and only hand tighten. Next, attach the discharge valve with the arrows facing up only until hand tight. Finally, reinstall the bleed valve or five function valve if equipped and all of your tubing. If you have a degassing pump, your cop kit head and valves will look like this and assembly follows the same process. The suction valve is off the bottom of the head, the discharge valve off the right side, and the return degassing valve comes off the top of the head. You have successfully performed maintenance on your Pulsatron metering pump. For assistance on priming your pump, please watch the Pulsatron priming video. If you need more information, please contact your local sales representative, Pulsatron.com, or technical services.